In the last two lessons, we were working with rather basic types and classes for the generic examples. Throughout the rest of the course, we're going to use more complex types to fully illustrate the power of generics. The first type we're going to establish is iWidget. So we're going to create a folder called Interfaces. And create the file iWidget like this. And our widget's going to look like the following. Just going to paste that in. And we're also going to create a person interface. So paste that in. So in the widget, we have title, description, ID, which is a number of rating, uh, created, updated, and is special card, which we'll see. That's That'll be a bit of fun later. The person's a bit simpler, but first name, last name, birthday, and eye color. And so we want to mock some data for both of these types. So I'm going to create another folder called mock data. And we'll do the widgets first. And we'll have a type it as an array of widget. So I'm going to paste that in here. and export it. Save that. Now I had this from a previous project, but for the people, I was having a hard time thinking of names. So there's a neat tool you can use, which I use quite a lot to mock data, and that is jsongenerator.com. So json-generator.com. And you're actually writing kind of a, uh, a pseudo JavaScript type template language. And those, you can find all the different types here. So you can do, you can do integers and Boolean and even GUIDs. And there's other built-in functions like countries and gender, first names, it's all there. So I've defined according to our type. We've got the first name, last name, birthday, and eye color. And you can basically generate as much as you want. So I've generated only ten. Um, you know, let's let's boost that up to twenty for more data. We can just copy this. And in our people, same as with widgets, my person, paste that in. Uh -huh. We can fix that. Let's see if this will work. Format that. So now let's render both the people and widgets data. So we can import. And again, TypeScript is already working for us in that we've typed them in here and those types will carry through wherever we import them.
So I'm going to get rid of this from the boilerplate. We're just going to map. Let's just do a simple H3 for now. What do we have? Widget. Widget. Just the title for now. And the same for people. We can do person first name. No, it's not giving me the IntelliSense yet because I haven't imported it. So. Great. We can start that up. Okay. So it looks like everything is wired properly. So in this lesson, we define two types, an iWidget interface and an iPerson interface. And we created some mock data to add some concrete values to those types. We then imported them and we made a basic rendering of a few of their properties just to make sure that everything was wired up correctly. So in the next lesson, we will finally get started in writing a reusable generic search function that will apply both to the widgets and the people data.